Hi, I'm Joel Grimes. We're going to talk about the best practices to use a beauty dish. I am holding in my hand a 24 inch beauty dish. This is how it collapses. Now if you used a beauty dish in the past, you had to, like me, put it in a case and pack it up and it took a lot of room, especially when you're on an airplane flying. So let me show you how I set this up. It's very simple. You just take this portion of the, uh, uh, the uh, modifier and you just push it right into position here, just like that. There's your little dish. And light comes in, hits that dish. The light goes back into the panel and spreads evenly across the front of your diffuser. So if you know anything about catch lights, generally speaking, for beauty and fashion, you want a circular or a rounded catch light in the eye. And that's why we have 16 rods to give you that perfectly round shape in the modifier. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our beautiful model, Bryce. I'm going to show you how I use the beauty dish. All right, so when you use a beauty dish, one of the things you have to understand is you take the diameter of your, your modifier, and here we have 24 inches, and you take and you, this is my starting point, is you take and put that modifier 24 inches from your subject. That's a, that's a really good starting point. Now, if I move that modifier in a little bit, it's going to be softer. If I back it up, it's going to be a little harsher. Of course, you got to adjust the for exposure. But I love to get the modifier about 24 inches from my subject. And the reason why I do that is because it helps hollow the cheek. So if you think about this, if I take my modifier and put it further and further and further back, it's going to have, the angle is going to be less uh, cutting across the cheek. So the, the closer I get my modifier, the more hollowing out it does for the cheek. So that's why a beauty dish at 24 inches is optimum to get the best results for what I'm going to do right now, which is basically a beauty headshot. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to have Bryce come in here. So we're going to say that's about right, 24 inches. And then I'm going to zoom in. So I'm just above her top there. So I see just skin up and I'm going to have her staring straight straight on in the camera. That's how I usually start. And we're going to take a fill card. And the fill card takes and bounces this light here, which I've got angled just a little bit. I wouldn't say it's 45 degree angles, but it's about maybe 30 degree angle. And that'll bounce back into this and fill in underneath her chin. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Of course, I focus on her eyes. And so there you go. Look at, look at the, the hollowness of the cheeks. Perfect. So again, if I back that up, it's going to be a little harsher. If I move it in, it's going to be a little softer. So again, as an artist or as you know, someone who's a creative person, you might find moving it in or moving it out a little bit better for you. And each model's a little different too, so you can play with that. But let's try. I'm going to zoom in just a little tighter here. Focus on the eye. Bring my fill up just out of frame. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. So that, that light is cutting right along each side of her, her cheek. So as she lifts up her head, that's going to fill in a little bit more. So it depends. So if she lifts up, go lift your chin up a little bit more. So again, I have to look at that, and I might adjust my light accordingly. So ready to go? One, two, three. So let's take a look at that. In that case, wow, her cheeks are really hollowed there. But I might raise it just a little bit more because she's looking up. And again, four inches at this close to your subject, four inches can really change the overall look. So here we go again. Ready? One, two, three. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that gives a little bit more shadow into chin, lips, nose, and eyes, which probably, you know, for my taste may, may not be right. So I'm going to bring it back down right above the, um, or just almost touching my lens. Here we go again. Ready? One, two, three. Three. Beautiful. Now I have Bryce holding her, putting her hands on her hips, and that brings her shoulders down and coming tapering right into the, my, the edges of my frame, which is perfect for what I want to do. There you have a very simple lighting technique using one modifier, the 24-inch beauty dish, and a reflector. And it absolutely amazing results. So there you have it, Bryce. Looks great. So go grab a subject and go and try this yourself.
I was like this. And I knocked some lady in the chin when I was giving a lecture. 